Hello my soccer universe. Let's do this for the Champions League final. My preview in a similar style as for the Europa League final. Now I have it all set up on the back. You have Spurs here, you have Liverpool here as they will play and I'm wearing the third jersey now. Uh, for Liverpool I admit slightly in favor of Liverpool just because I think I would love to see Klopp finally win a cup final which he hasn't done yet, although I wouldn't mind for a Fogettino either. So, um, more or less, I'm, I have a slight preference towards Liverpool and that's why I'm wearing it. Uh, but again, no offense towards the other team. Um, I think I can live with both of these teams winning. However, I want to pull out all the shirts that I have of those two teams. <laughs> and it's the same thing as with the Europa League final. We only have one Arsenal shirt, but two Chelsea shirts. Here have one uh, Spurs shirt and two Liverpool shirts. For that reason, let's stay the way we are. But yeah, let's get right into it. Little presentation. Enjoy. So, my Champions League final match preview between Tottenham Hotspur and Liverpool. First of all, I'm sorry Tottenham fans, uh, your monochromatic logo, the navy, wouldn't show on this, so I decided I'll do the silvery tone that you have on your uh, green Champions League away jersey that you actually had quite some success in, I hope this is nice. I don't like recoloring logos, but I think in this case it makes sense. Um, hope you're fine with that. Also note that both teams have bird logos, which I want to say it's almost the first in the Champions League, but that needs to be checked. Uh, the game is played on the 1st of June, 9 o'clock Central European time, means 8 o'clock in England. Um, referee is Damir Skomina from Slovenia, and the game is played in Madrid, but not at the Bernabeu, it's at the Wanda Metropolitano, the home field of Atletico Madrid. Okay. How did the teams get there? Well, let's start with Tottenham, who are the designated home team. And their road was actually rocky. It started with a 2-1 away defeat to Inter, a game that they bombardless had in the bag in the last 10 minutes. Inter pulls out something. Then they get totally dominated by Barcelona, probably Barcelona's finest performance in the Champions League, uh, losing 2-4 at Wembley. Then they only get a 2-2 draw against PSV and basically the win at home to PSV keeps them in there. Then they have a crucial win over Inter, which puts them level with Inter. But it also means they need to get a result in Barcelona, who at that point had already qualified. And fortunately for them, they did. And even more so, Inter did not beat PSV. And for that reason, Spurs moved on to the um, round of 16, where they were drawn against Dortmund. And Everyone was saying this is a very tight, exciting matchup. With the problem that the closer the tire came, the um, the worse Dortmund got because they hit their rocky patch. But even though in the first leg, the first half was quite even, with Dortmund even having slight, um, slightly the upper hand. But Spurs score three goals in the first half. In the away leg, oh, I'm sorry, here is a typo, it's not A0, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, in the away leg, similar story, Dortmund missing chances in the first half, don't get it done. Uh, then um, Tottenham scores the one goal, so it should be 1-0. And uh, right after half, Kane this puts it away. Then the crazy tie against Man City. Uh, beforehand, I said every English duel except Man City against Spurs will have... Uh, kind of a story. Well, it, now it has. It didn't have before, now it has. Uh, the home leg, Aguero uh, misses a penalty, or I should better say it, uh, Yuri saves it, and Son gets the uh, vital goal. However, also Kane got injured in that one, and this will factor in probably in the lineup uh, today. Uh, not today. Yeah, probably today when this posts. And then in the away game, uh, probably the craziest 20 minutes you'll ever see to start the game. I think City taking lead, then uh, Spurs getting a 2-1, it's 2-2, 3-2. Um, at one point it's 4-2, and then the Llorente's goal, the handball, uh, that counts. And then to on the reverse side, uh, a goal by Aguero is taken off because of offside, thanks to VAR. And, Absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy game. 
That sets up a semi-final with Ajax, uh, who had just beaten Real Madrid and Juventus and were flying high and completely dominated the first leg, um, where not only was Kane injured, but Son was also out. Ajax won 1-0, probably could have gotten more, but you know, Spurs also had their chances. In the away leg, Ajax enjoyed a 2-0 lead, a 3-0 lead on aggregate, uh, and then completely collapsed. Uh, Tottenham put in a Llorente, uh, who I know I was always joking is kind of a useless player, but he was very useful there because Ajax could not deal with him. And then Lucas Muro has a game for the ages and scores a um, 95th minute winner, although his finest goal I think was the equalizer in that game. So definitely um, a heart attack game. However, Liverpool also had this. And Similar to Spurs, a very rocky start in the group stage. Um, again, here's a type which would be 3-2 home to PSG. I'm sorry, I did this way too fast, I guess. They won 3-2 at home to PSG, then lost 1-0 at Napoli, where Napoli completely outplayed them um, and probably should have gotten more than just this uh, one winner. But then you think it's ahead on the cruise control again, 4-0 against Gervena Zvezda. However, away from home they lose 2 0 and Liverpool's in serious trouble. And it's only that Napoli only uh, draws twice against PSG that um, Liverpool is still in the match. At that point, even PSG was in danger of um, being eliminated. But then Liverpool, they, Liverpool loses away from home 2 1. And the away from of Liverpool, that was what hurt them in the group stage. And they get the vital win against Napoli uh, at, at home, which was deserved, although Nap there was a huge save by Alisson in there. You went into the round of 16 uh, kind of not knowing against Bayern what Bayern team will show up and in the home game it was just a nil-nil and I don't remember seeing many highlights. I know that Alisson made a save but it was not a great game. In the away leg, Bayern completely disappointed. Uh, I think Liverpool got the goal, Bayern even equalized but then Liverpool completely dominated Bayern and uh, very deservedly won 3-1. Porto didn't provide much opposition. Uh, the game was basically killed off once Liverpool scored a goal. There, I think it was made for 23rd minutes. That was a game, and then that, uh, and then that was that. I mean, in the home game, yeah, Liverpool probably could have won three 0 but there was also an iffy uh, scene where Porto should have probably gotten a penalty. And then the Barcelona game in the away game, Barcelona has serious trouble against Liverpool. However, Liverpool don't take the chances and Barcelona do. And therefore it ends 3-0 Barcelona. And if Usman Dembele wouldn't have wasted two glorious chances at the end, that tie could have been over. 4-0 was absolutely in there for Barcelona, although it would not have been deserved. I think the game was very level. I think a 2-1 Barcelona, something like that would have been very, very much deserved. And I remember Klopp saying we have Jokingly, we have them right where we want to have them. Uh, they're feeling safe. And whether he said jokingly or not, it's exactly what it was. Um, they get their early goal in at Anfield. Barcelona does not take the chances as opposed to uh, the game at the camp now. And then two minutes of madness where uh, Wijnaldum, I think, scores twice. And then Origi, where they absolutely, the Barcelona defense had no idea how, how, to, how to defend that corner. No one is taking care of it. Origi makes it 4-0. And another heart attack game. So before the return legs, everyone said it's a Barcelona Ajax final. Now we're Spurs against Liverpool. And that shows you how great the Champions League is. Let's look at the honors. We have again two teams from England with one definitely more weighty. Tottenham is the old, older team, but uh, their best years, if you look at it, are a long time ago. They won the Premier League only twice in, 90, in 51 and 61, whereas Liverpool won it 18 times. And you can see here, I had to summarize, they had here a streak of four consecutive champ, um, um, league championships, 81, 82, 83, 84. Um, so, just to give you an idea of how dominant Liverpool actually was, especially in the 70s and 80s. Um, but they also are waiting for their first Premier League title. FA Cup is more even, with Spurs even having won one more. However, the last one is in 1991. And that's where I remember Spurs from, because they had Lineker back then. Um, 
since then uh, Liverpool has won three, but they're still Spurs has a few more FA Cups. League Cups is more in Liverpool's uh, favor again, four versus eight. Uh, the last one for Spurs in seven eight. Uh, this was actually the last title that Spurs have won. Uh, Liverpool in eleven twelve. And European glory, I mean, Liverpool is one of the big heavyweights, um, but um, it's probably not so well known. Spurs has won three um, European trophies. They won the UEFA Cup in 72 and in 84, and they also won the Cup Winners' Cup in 63. So um, it is not that crazy for Spurs to be in a European final. They have some weight there, of course. We have five titles for Liverpool, last one coming in 2005, and we have also three UEFA Cup titles, the last one coming in 2001. Both of these finals, finals for the ages. Uh, that has to be clearly said. But yeah, when it goes by titles, Liverpool is the clearly dominant team. They are one of the biggest, if not uh, the biggest, in England. Of course, Man United will lay claim to that one too. And uh, they won through the, in the Ferguson more titles and FA Cups as far as I remember. Head-to-head -head also clearly for Liverpool all-time. 82 uh, wins for Liverpool, 42 draws, 48 wins for Spurs. They had two meetings this season already, both and 2-1 for Liverpool. I remember the first game, Liverpool dominated, but in the end Spurs could have gotten an equalizer. I should have probably given a penalty. So they had a tunnel lead through Ronaldo and Firmino. Lamela then scores in the 90th and in stoppage time there should have been a penalty. But on the other side, Liverpool had so many chances that it was probably the just result. A uh, little bit more crazy at the end of March, another 2-1 win for Liverpool. Um, Liverpool again dominating the first half, but then Spurs came out uh, of, of that one actually quite strong, got their equalizer. And then it was an the world own goal after a really, really bad uh, mistake by um, Juris that handed Liverpool uh, the win. And you gotta say, um, that's the last time that they met. I would hope for uh, Juris' sake that he will take it to heart that this will not happen again. When we look at the current form uh, uh, over the season, um, current form Spurs 21%. They had a really bad end to the season. If you see, it started kind of uh, good, went down, but then went in a good run where actually Spurs was in there in the title race. Never quite, but always close. Um, but towards the end of the season, especially once Kane got injured, I know that the Champions League results probably pulled them out, but they had a really tough losing streak right here. Uh, February, uh, no, March. <laughs> in the entire March was kind of a horrible month for Spurs and the end wasn't all that great either. They just barely made it into the Champions League. Uh, in, yeah, into the Champions League via the league for the next season. However, average from 59% is not all that bad. You can also see when we look at the Champions League here, the win probability for Champions League. Uh, at the head and the, at the beginning was always around 4 or 5%. Then they had this really the two losses that put them basically at zero and then slowly clawed themselves back in. When they won against City, you can see it, it spiked. Uh, and after the loss to Amsterdam at home, it fell down almost to preseason levels. Only now they're sitting at about, I think, 28%. Liverpool, on the other hand, has been flying high almost all season. You see, even their bad stretches here, and this is only bad because of the Champions League, not because of uh, the league form. They got losses in the Champions League, but uh, picked up results in the league. And this is where the dip in fall is coming from. Before Christmas, they were absolutely flying high. Then they had a dip, and this is where they lost the championship. But again, very f high flying at the end. And if you look also at the win chances, uh, always around 10%, 10%, 10 10%, 10%, 10 then they make it to uh, the quarters. They make it to the semis. They lose to Barcelona, it's their worst ever, and they turn it around and win it. Current form for Liverpool is 71% and on average 69%. They are one of the best teams in Europe this season. Again, all these form curves are based on five game weighted average. So it's always five games taking a piece, weighting them together, giving a little bit more weight to the more recent ones. So this is how I compute the form curves. The probabilities for winning a Champions League are, as usual, from five. 
Further game notes, that's now for the uh, coaches mostly. Uh, is this the first UEFA final for Pochettino? Uh, and probably will be the first title for Spurs, as we have seen. On the other side, this is the third uh, fi- uh, Champions League final loss for uh, third Champions League final for uh, Klopp. He has two losses: one with Dortmund against Bayern, one with Liverpool against Madrid last year. So um, third time lucky. We shall see. The head-to-head between the two coaches is four, four-one in favor of Klopp. So four wins, four draws, one loss in favor of Klopp. Projected kits: Spurs will play in white and as they usually do in, in Europe with white pants and white uh, socks, which will look crazily awkward because of the uh, gradient here. I really would wish that they play in um, in a normal kit, <laughs> meaning use, using navy shorts. Uh, but I know they don't do this in Europe, they play in all white. The jersey itself is a really nice one, but the kit is not. Um, same thing. Uh, same as with Liverpool, uh, who will play in all red. I mean, the Liverpool kit is a really nice one. Sorry, I misspoke here. The Liverpool kit is one of the nicest ones uh, this year. Uh, the more I watch it, the more I like it. I only don't like these white thingies here. Other than that, absolutely gorgeous kit. All red, so it's another white against red final, which is very common uh, these days. Chances, as I said, Spurs has only 28% chance of winning Liverpool 72, so Liverpool heavily favored, and many say that Liverpool should win this easily. What's my prediction? I'm saying 3-1 Liverpool. Uh, I think there are goals in there. I don't think it will end 2-1. I think there's a little bit more in there. I'm actually not that happy with the 3-1 either. I was almost going 3-2, but I'm... I think that would be too many goals in the final. So I'm sticking with that. I say Liverpool will will win 3-1. So there you have it. Unlike the Europa League final, I think this is a more clear one when you look at the chances. Um, um, Liverpool are clearly favored. They have been an amazing team this season, uh, although Spurs had an amazing run. So uh, can they overcome the odds once more? I still lean uh, both in my who I would cheer for and in the prediction Liverpool. But I can see a game where Kane comes in in the 60th minute, it goes to penalty shoot, shoot it, and because of Kane they win it. Let's see it. I'm planning to release another video, hopefully I get to it, with the best um, Champions League jersey matchups, since I mentioned this in the big top 10 video that I made. Uh, on the, my favorite Champions League finals, where I know that this is final is not in there and it's because of Spurs. Uh, if they would play in with navy pants, I probably think they could crack the top 10, but not with the white shorts. Um, and maybe then after the Champions League final is over and so on, I may get to what are my favorite Champions League winning jerseys and I'll take it from there. Anyway, uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.